Next up, we have Victoria Velasquez Vincent from Cavite. Hi, I'm Victoria Velasquez Vincent representing my beloved Cavite. I am an architect and a heritage conservationist. And aside from being a lover of all things visually creative, I'm also a lover of poetry and anything underrated. So whether it be the food that people typically don't like or the places less traveled, you will always find me going against the grain. I am a Virgo and the epitome of a Virgo at that, which means I'm obsessed with being organized and solving problems and nurturing the growth of those around me. Fun fact, you will never find anyone with a better memory than me, whether it's your birthday, your phone number, or what I had for Christmas lunch in 2012, you best believe I will never forget it. Victoria, would you rather be an Olympic gold medalist or Miss Universe? That's a hard question because either way you are bringing so much pride to your country. But for me, I would have to say I would rather be Miss Universe because the, the prestige that lasts with Miss Universe is so much stronger than what lasts with an Olympic athlete, in my opinion. And with Miss Universe, you only have to do it once and you bring so much pride to your country. Whereas with being an Olympic medalist, you have to keep improving. Every year you have to do better and better. So for me, yeah, I think I'd go with Miss Universe, but also because... Now, global warming has caused dramatic climate changes worldwide. As a beauty queen, how will you help in protecting our environment? It starts with the changes that you make in your own personal life and then extending that and using the platform that we have in Miss Universe Philippines to encourage other people to do the same thing. So for example, for me, I have actually converted to being 90% vegan because I know that animal agriculture um, contributes to so much uh, of the issues that climate change causes. And so even that minor change, I know I'm contributing to such a large issue and I know that I can use my platform to encourage other people to do the same. How has the pandemic challenged you? Above all else, the pandemic has challenged me in a way that has made me both stronger and more independent. I spent the first year of the pandemic in New Zealand and had the privilege of having that safety and security, but I still chose to sacrifice all of those things and relocate to the Philippines in January. And if there's anything that that journey taught me, it's that you might need to make some sacrifices along the way and you might need to give up on so many things and let go of so many things in your life, but you should never let anything, not even a worldwide pandemic, get in the way of your dreams. Thank you so much. For